my name is David Abubakar. Welcome to day 17 of the Woman series. Having laid very strong foundations, we will be coming to earthly dimension of truth as it applies today in our present world. So today we will be speaking on symbolic images. Like Adam and the woman were real people and at the same time prophetic symbols of the world to come in Christ Jesus. We also are real people, but also symbols prophesying the eternal future. We are living beings and also living images to showcase eternal things to come. The man play God, the woman play corporate humanity. When? Now. Where? This present world. Meaning, now and here. Please stay in your role. Play the man, be the man. Play the woman, be the woman. You see, initially, God made one single man in Genesis account. It was an awesome sight. He was alive, walking about, living life, interacting with God, naming all the animals, and stood on earth as one being. Friends, outside of the one nation in God, this is the biggest prophecy that humanity is one. We started as one. Then God looked at him living large, enjoying himself, <laughs> enjoying creation, enjoying his God, and then decided to make him into two distinct beings of the same nature called man and woman. At a point he was one. At another point he broke him into two to reveal more glory. But at the end, when all things are finished and the mystery of God concluded, God will return them into one, the one eternal bride, the one corporate humanity, first prophesied in Adam before the woman was made. With joy in my heart, I announce we are one. We will be one. And we will eternally leave us one. But for now, we all have roles to play. For the earthly man, you are to be the heavenly Christ, the heavenly man to your wife and to the world. For the earthly woman, you are to be the eternal woman, the bride to your husband and to the world. For the man, to love the woman is your eternal power with God and with the world. There is no excuse not to love. The Lord Jesus Christ did not turn back from his sinful, shameful, lifeless, loveless pride. So you can't turn back. You can't. Whatever pain you suffer now will be rewarded by an eternal reward in the world to come. It is worth the sacrifice and the pain. The glory and honor it will receive will be eternal. All the sacrifices of love you make are worth it. Even if your earthly bride, the physical woman, did not see, let alone appreciate. There is one that sees. He sees all, Jehovah God. There is one that appreciates, and he appreciates the unseen, Jehovah God. And he is the rewarder. Can you continue? His eye sees every precious thing. Can you continue his works in the woman? You are on a stage playing the Christ, watched by the whole host of heaven, called cloud of witnesses. When the Christ came, played his own sin, he was even murdered by his own bride, yet it was not a loss. He got heavenly reward, he got all of us. Being the head is never a title to be claimed, but a calling to answer. See beyond the privileges of headship. See beyond the title. Answer the call. It is a fearful, tearful, glorious or inspiring calling to sit the woman on the throne and sacrifice all to her to the point of death. Christ Jesus died to sit his own bride on the throne. As God's princess on earth, we have the same calling in our bride. Welcome to the call as we continue the woman series. Thank you. Love to you from our beautiful kids. Love to you from Grace and David. Grace is my eternal bride and wife. Do I call her sweet, sweet love?
Love to you from the entire It the Bible Network family. And finally, love to you from the brewers of our Lord and Master, the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Woman Series. Thank you. God bless you. Amen.